We are going to anoint them. We anoint you with the oil from the yes, horn. You've been given this word of God. And allow or confirm that it's true. That they will honor uh, obey their, their leaders and be humble before them no and to take care of them. If you agree, please clap your hands. Hallelujah. We just profited six pastors and their wives in Zion Temple. We thank God so much for this. We pray that you will support them. Continue to pray for them. May the Lord bless you. Calling, yes, we agree. They agree to support their husbands in this call. May God bless you. Let us pray. Almighty and great, powerful God, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, we bring your servants, Lord. Your word says, you will give them a heart of knowledge and a heart of understanding. We pray your knowledge. We pray for your knowledge. We pray for your understanding. Come upon them, Lord. To give them knowledge and understanding. To do the work in this time. In a difficult moment. There will be a lamp that shines in the darkness. And there will be the souls of the world. There will be the food that many will eat from. There will be a food a pasture that the sheep will feed from. We refuse that fight that which fights them. The fear of disease, the fear of death, we destroy from their lives. The fear of poverty, all generations we destroy them in their lives. In the name of Jesus, Generation of us, we cancel you, we cancel you in the name of Jesus. We pray for your miracle that may be evident. Bless them, Father. Use them, Lord. Use them. Put them in another level. In the name of Jesus, let your Holy Spirit be upon them. Your power be upon them. Your glory be upon them. May they continue. Maybe they be exalted. Support them. I pray for their wives in the name of Jesus. Give them a spirit, Lord, to support them, to partner and love them, to honor you, a spirit to serve you in all their lives, that they will support them, they will support them, they will be around them and keep them safe. Wherever they are not, they should be. In their weakness, may they be their power. Thank you, Father. Thank you that you were good. The glory is yours. We are going to anoint them. We anoint you with the oil from the yes, horn. Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. We praise Jesus. We praise Jesus. 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 Amavuta ya temze kumutwe wa Aaron agenda temba za gere ku mukorana 
Nabakristo was. The oil that came down the head of Aaron may flow from you to all the Christians and all that you work with. Yes. May the oil flow over you. May the oil always be flowing upon your life. May your cup overflow. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. The anointing. The oil. The anointing of God. The anointing of God. May it flow over your life. Jesus. The anointing of God flow over your life. May it fill your head. May it reach your beard. The end of your garment. The anointing oil flow over you. The oil flow over your life. Yes, The one who's overseeing the southern province. Hano. One who's overseeing the Kigali province. Burasirazova. In the western Amazi. province. Guino. In the eastern province. Muma. Burengirazova. Western province. In the book of Matthew, verse 11, chapter 11, chapter 16, Matthew, 16, verse 24, Yes, Abgira Bikish Kobati, Umununa Shaka Kungurikira Yange, Yikore Musarawe, Angurikire. Then Jesus says to his disciples, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. The cross you are wearing defines death. It means death. The servants of God that have put the cross on you, they have more or less killed you. You are, it's no longer you that live. It is your sheep within you. You have died. It is your sheep that are alive in you. When you awake in the morning, think of the sheep. When you walk, think of the sheep. When you sleep, think of the sheep. It's not you that live. It is the sheep in you. 
Amen. 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 Let's embrace them. Let's congratulate them. Let's congratulate them. After embracing them, kindly go back to your seats. They will stay here. Finally take your seats, the wife, the dear wives. Mubahe is a syllabus in Miss William Webber. clap for Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the head of the church. In the name of the apostle, the one who is the visionary for this ministry. And in the name of the leadership for this work of God in Zion Temple. We proclaim that you have been ordained and you shall be pastors in the church of Zion Temple. Amen. Amen. Mufite ubutware bwo kurinda. You've been given the authority to keep umukumbi. The flock. Kwizera. And keep the faith. Ubumwe. To keep the unity. Nagahunda nziza itorero. And the good program of the church. No kwiziza. And to celebrate. And to lead uh, well the new covenant. The new covenant which is baptism and the Holy Communion. These are the ordinances that Christ left with us. These are the, the customs of the new covenant. It is baptism and to give the Holy Communion and ordaining the deacons and the leaders and praying over the children to wed the married people and to help people to pray for them are the barriers and all the programs of the church. You have been called to look for and to bring unity and as you become a good example in the church. You become, to become pastors and servants of God that have the fruit of the spirit for the sheep. That the Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit may lead you and increase and grow the work of God he's given to you. It's done in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Brethren, uh, the members of Zion Temple Church and our visitors, Today, the 4th of January, in, in the year of our Lord, 2020, we have officially ordained Gisore Richard, St. Jose Auguste, Gendahayo Jacques, Habyarimana Alphonse, Ndize Olivier, Wilonja, Mwenebantu. 
today as pastors. The Bible confirms that. Remember and pray for your leaders. Remember those that have preached the good news to you. That you may follow their faith. You will need to follow your leaders and you strengthen their faith and support the vision they have in this work of God. The Bible says, Honor your leaders and honor your leaders and be Obey. Submit to them. Because they keep away keeping and praying for your hearts are those that will be asked about it. So that they may do it without complaining but do it with a heart of gratitude. Because when they do it with complaint, they will not be rewarded for it. But help them to do the work of God gladly. The leader is not the one who has given them, them themselves the position, but it's God who has ordained them and has given them the authority. The Bible continues to tell us to take good care of our shepherds or ministers or the servants of God. To honor them in love and not speak ill of them. The Bible says, do not ignore the Levi between you or midst you. And the Bible says, do not touch the anointed one. The Bible concludes saying, be or live together in peace. All those are the words of our Lord Jesus Christ that we need to be careful about. As we conclude, brethren, the Bible reminds us the servants of God deserve rewards. Take good care of your servants in your means and take care of them. I confirm to you today before God and our Lord Jesus Christ that you do it without complaining. But even then, keeping your responsibilities. Today, I request and ask those that have heard the words of our Lord Jesus and allow or confirm that it's true that they will honor uh, obey their, their leaders and be humble before them and to take care of them. If you agree, please clap your hands. May God bless you. You've been given this book. It has the word of God. It will help you to lead the church in the wisdom of God. You've been given this book. Read it. It has the word of life and the word of wisdom that will enable you as you lead the church. You've been given this book. It has the word of God to help you to lead the Christians in the wisdom of God. You've been given this book. It has the word of God. It is the source of the life, water of life. May you receive it. May people drink from it. And the thirst will be out of their lives. You've been given this book. It's the word of God. The people you lead. Lead them with the word of truth. You've been given this word of God. Use it. It has wisdom. That will enable you to lead your people. That God has given you.
This is a certificate that today you are a pastor in Zion Temple. It is a certificate that confirms that you've been ordained as a pastor. This is a certificate that you've been ordained as a pastor in Zion Temple Church. May God enable you. This is a certificate that confirms that you've been ordained as a pastor in Zion Temple Church. May God bless you. This is a certificate that confirms that you're a pastor in Zion Temple. May God bless you. This is a certificate that you've been ordained as a pastor in Zion Temple. May God bless you. This is a certificate that confirms that you've been ordained as a, a, a pastor in Zion Temple. God bless you. Nitko Riviendi is a Dumushambozan temple, Parosi and Harama, Makareka Vijesera, Tishuga Buguf in Berima and Anaban Vayo, Guhabga in Shingano, Yokua, Mushumba, Waban, who be man, no Murimukome, Aru Wazan and Iesum is Kungiman and Aban, Gurunu Komurgo Jendo, Lumashuka would put on Horibiman and Shaka Mujetan. Man, I've got in the Makome in Agatano, Yokonza, you were Murimo, Abano Imana, Muirequa, Joku Yabara in Hamba in Hamas Chene, Kugana Koman, Dero, Naka Chimini, Tano, Yarishize, Vita Jereje, Vimos Brasso, Ichambe, Amavuta Jimbaragazaj, Numa Major Kujabara Musiga, Numvaredo, Nes and Horo Murimo, Paras in Yavari Maze, Nakafi, Nijiche, Ukora. Ariko gusigwa biza nizindi mbaraka biza nandi mavuta biza no bundi bushobozi ndetse no guhamirizwa imbere y'Imana n'imbere y'abantu ncishwe rero bugufu kugira ngo zo mbaraga za nkoreremo nka ruje Imana ishaka mu kino gihe kwagira ngo tubabaze ni nka hehe umushumba yageze mu kumva mu rushyo kongera gutekereza nkaho bi ari bishyashya cyane kuri mwebwe z'inshingano mwasigi wa mavuta mvugishuru kuri ibintu cyose uyu munsi nakimuse nka rigishya hari giye busa nuko ari ariko iyo bivuzwe mu buryo bukomeye nka kuriya bikavugwa no mubyeyi apotre bikavugirwa imbere imbaga y'abantu wagira ngo nibishyashye ariko numva nanone nize yuko nakari kose igikora ni imana ikorera muri gihe mu guca bugufi no kumvira ikimana nyobora mu gukora nibwira ko bizashoboka nta kibazo kirimo hari abantu bagiye bakora muri mu w'Imana bakawukora nk'abalayiki bakawukora nk'abantu bakunze muri mu gusa batarabisigiwe ariko wenda bikarangira bavuye mu murimo bataragera no kuntambwe nk'iyo mwateye hari namu mwabagira namana bagiye no kugira umutima wumvira umutima wumvira uciye bugufi ushaka kumenya ikimana ishaka iguhagarika akwiriye bitewe n'icyo cyaho gukora mu gihe cyacyo ya muntu ya muri iki ya mu pasteli ubwo bwose umuntu ari hakorera imana nduva mu muntu imana ihumuhamagara umuntu bitewe n'iki mushaka mu gihe runaka uburyo rero bwo kumvira imana aho waburi hose wakorera imana icyo nababwiye muri rusange yabo hagazemo neza babikomereme mu mutayiza nazaba gororera yaba ababigeragerejwemo ni mugari ku murongo imana ni nyembabazi imana irunga imana irasana imana irakomeza imana irayobora kuyumvira nibwo buryo bwiza gukora imana gushaka mu gihe cyangwa umwe mu babaye bugufi cyane muri urugendo mu tewe intambwe uyu munsi ni mama dev umufasha abantu hari cyo mwamuvugaho mu kuba yarababereye umuntu bafasha muri urugendo n'uyu munsi akaba yabihamije turabibona ko emotion ari nyinshi eh hari cyo mwamuvugaho cyambere no kumushimira iyo no muhamagara ukomeye kuva tukimenyana yaraza umuhamagara wanje yaraza nibyo nkora gwera kuri kaminuza kugeza uyu munsi ndamushimira nta mufite uruhande rwanye ntibyari gukunda yata byemera ntago nari kubigeraho ariko yambere imbaraga zikomeye mu myaka tumaze yose no kugeza uyu musto ko uri murimo no mwanya mwiza wo kumushimira imana imumvugisha kandi kwa mufite n'imbaraga zikomeye ubusozi cy'Imana nshaka ho hano kwise birumvikana ko atatugendana 
ijambo rimwe mama Dev uko biri kose na nabwo watugendana eh icya mbere cyo nabwo nareka kuvuga ko ari byiza ko asuhoza ikimana yamuhamagariye icya kabiri nuko gukorera imana nta nta gihombo kirimo hari hari ikintu kidasanzwe kiri bwiyongere mu buzima bwacu bw'umwuka nubwo umubiri ntabwo busigara turashimira imana rero no kubwi kizera imana yaduhaye kandi twizeye ko izadushoboza cya mbere turashimira imana uh, cya kabiri turashima abayobozi badufashije bakatwigisha bakadutegura kwinjira muri izi nshingano sha z'ubushumba cyo ni ikintu kingenzi tunashimira ubuyobozi bw'itorero uh, Zion Temple Aposo uh, batugira ikizere bakaduha izi nshingano ndumva mu tugiye kwinjira mu mirimo misha duhawe twari dusanzwe dukora izo nshingano ari ku bunonoho tugiye kuzikora mu buryo bw'umugaragaro kandi nonoho tubisige wa mavuta tuberewe n'uburenganzira nkumva muri ibyo byose ni umurimo w'Imana tugiye gukora kugera ku banyarwanda kugeza ubutumwa bwiza kuko akenshi usanga dutinda ahantu ubutumwa bwiza buvugirwa cyane nko mu nsengero ariko ubudusokanya ingamba zo gukomeza gukora umurimo w'Imana no kuvuga ubutumwa aho butaravugwa cyane hanze mu badakijijwe mu batazi Imana muri gereza uh, twari twahatangije umurimo mu mu meza bira ashize mu kwezi kwa 11 twahavuze ubutumwa gereza ya rwamagana hakizwa abantu 2244 ku buryo muri uyu mwaka turimo turategura inkunga zo kubafasha no kwatangiza umurimo w'Imana ukorera muri gereza tuzakomeza gukurikirana Imana ibaho umugesha Nje byanshimishe kugera kuri intambwe twari tumaze gihe tubitegereje ariko kuba Imana yabisoje no mugisha ku itorero no mugisha kuri twe no mugisha ku bantu bose ni no mugisha ku muryango wacu 